Mm. That's cool. Largest fourth quarter comeback in team history. 17 in the fourth quarter. Jordan Love's starting debut at Lambeau was one for the ages. The Packers pulled off a stunning come from behind. They scored 18 unanswered and pulled off the win against the Saints. What do we make of the way that Jordan Love conducted business uh, to start this second half comeback, Sean? Well, I look, for Jordan Love, I, I thought that fourth quarter was everything. Like, things were not going well. They had Sh Shahid Rashid, Rash Rashid Shahid, Shahid, was his name? Shahid, yes. Uh, they, it goes both ways. <laughs> you got it. It <laughs> takes it to the house. It goes uh, both ways. Everything's, everything's going wrong for the Packers, and Jordan Love, like, it, it, unfazed, and his first, first fourth quarter comeback, not just with the arm, though. Here he is scrambling, rush for a touchdown, throws for a touchdown. I thought as all of a sudden they start clawing their way back into the game, we saw – Jordan Love start to celebrate a little bit. He start, he, now we're seeing him put mm -hmm. his his prints on this offense and on this team. And when your quarterback starts flexing like this right here, all right, like now we've got an identity. Now we know, all right, look, we're starting to, to become a totally different offense now with that guy at the helm. I'm just, I've been impressed with, with how well he's played. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it with all these young guys around him. Yeah. Something Aaron Rodgers couldn't do last year with the young guys mm -hmm. around him. And he did, he's doing it without David Bakhtiari, mm -hmm. left tackle, no Aaron yeah. Jones, no Christian Watson. It's pretty impressive. Um, and, and they did a great job rallying back after being down 17 0. Yeah, Jair Alexander was out in that game mm -hmm. as well. And it was fun to watch. And you're a Packers fan. You're fired up. This game was at home. You got a chance to see your quarterback, Jordan Love, go into that fourth quarter and scored a point in the fourth quarter. And a lot of credit goes to their defense as well because we're saying the Packers didn't score a point. Jordan Love in the fourth quarter showed up, made plays. They were still only down 17-0 to in the fourth quarter, and a lot of that had to do with Rashawn Gary and the defense. He had three sacks alone. And I know if I'm a Saints fan this morning, I'm waking up, and I'm like, all right, you guys are giving all this love to Jordan Love, the yeah. Packers this, the Packers that. They scored 18 points once our starting quarterback went down with an injury. Derek Carr goes down, and then the Packers make their comeback, and they come back and win this game. So, yes, at the same time, you're fired up for them. Tough one for the Saints, but... Packers fans, you're looking at this, and you watch Brett Favre, you watch Aaron Rodgers, and now you watch this kid Jordan Love come in, poise, no panic, fourth quarter, bring his team back, and go out there and win the game. It's an impressive win for him. I think as you couldn't be happier with the start of Jordan Love's career. Yeah. I, I will call it this, the start of his career. We've talked about it for three years. Mystery, not, don't know anything. What's he going to be? What's he not going to be? If you would say that he's going to start 2-1, and one, He's going to destroy the Bears in Soldier Field. Yep. All right, week two, they have a slip up against a tough team. And then I have, I think this is a, like a signature win. This is a really, mm -hmm. really big deal that he did this. He's at home. We've talked about this. He's, he's against a very difficult defense. All his weapons feel like they're out. And Jordan Love still made it happen. He had his first ever rushing touchdown. And he, all the history of Green Bay and the Favre and Rodgers – Ties the largest fourth quarter comeback in Packers history. Rodgers doesn't have a bigger right. one. Favre doesn't have a bigger yeah. one. That is really, really cool. If you had said to Packers fans to start the season, 2-1, and one, <laughs> destroy the Bears, uh, have a, a fourth quarter comeback against a great Saints team, would you take it? Hell yes, we would take it. I'm really impressed with Love. There's something very likable about this Packers team. Mm -hmm. And I remember when the Packers fans were kind of saying goodbye to Rodgers, there was this feeling of like, you know, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, it might not yeah. be good anymore. And I remember a lot of the Packers fans' responses were like, we just want our quarterback. If they lose, fine, but we want this new guy out there. He's our guy. He's he's born and bred a Packer. And there's something really authentic and refreshing about this Packers team that it's not all about Rodgers. And he is winning with young guys. And he is winning with backups. I think they're one of the more likable teams mm -hmm. in the whole league right now. And they're 2-1, and one, and they look really good. I like them a lot. I find it particularly potent when you are able to win a game without some of your star players mm -hmm. because of what you are building later when those guys come back. We touched on it a little bit with Jalen Waddle being out, yet the Dolphins still scoring 70. And I find the same here without Christian Watson, without Aaron Jones. These team, This Packers team, they're hanging in there, but to come back and win this game with Romeo Dobbs, with A.J. Dillon, uh, Jalen Reed, Jaden Reed is playing great at wide receiver. Yeah. If you can find ways and make those guys better, it is, it is a, what is it, exception of riches, if you will, uh, when you come back later in the game. And, like, later in the season, the Packers are going to be able to beat up on teams because these guys got better in the absence of your stars, which is a Great good point. problem to have. Good problem to have. Coming up.